Hi, welcome back to Velo News TV. I'm Neil Rogers, the Team High Road presentation with George Hincapi and quite possibly the flyest pair of shades I've ever seen George wearing. <laughs> George, uh, it looked like, I mean, you were definitely the uh, sort of the, the marquee rider. You were the last guy brought out today. You were the guy that rolled out on the bike. Talk a little bit about the position that uh, you're put in on this team as sort of a, sort of a go-to guy. I mean, maybe a little bit more pressure than you've had in the past. Uh, no, not really. I mean, Bob brought me along on this team to uh, sort of mentor the young guys and and uh, try to get perform in some of the races that I want to do well at. But uh, mainly, I'm, I'm the captain uh, on the road and make the, I can make on the road decisions for uh, for some of these guys. I've got a lot of experience. And I think uh, my main role is just to try to give back all the stuff that I've learned over the years. You know, I've got a lot of Tour de France's in me and basically uh, many years as a pro. This is my 15th season. So um, I'm just happy and proud to be part of this, this organization, and I hope that I can give back to a lot of these guys. I know the last time that you and I spoke, I think, was at the World Championships, and it's, at that point it sounded like your uh, season for 2008 was going to be very much like your season in the past, focus on the classics, uh, in Tour California and classics, and then get ready for the Tour de France. Has anything changed since then, and how's the camp been, how's the form? form is pretty good. It's, it's always tough to tell without racing. Um, so this will be my first race. Well, we had a good camp. We had great. We had awesome weather. It was uh, 70, 75 degrees every day, um, and I just really enjoyed uh, the guys on the team. They're all really, really funny guys, really down to earth, and just fun to be around. So uh, we had a great atmosphere at camp, and you know, hopefully that'll continue on in the races to come. Yeah, maybe a little bit. I mean, obviously you spent so much time at Postal and Discovery. How? What is similar between this team and that team, and, and what you know, compare and contrast? What's different? Well, the similarities are there's there's a tons of nationalities on this team as there was in Discovery the last couple of years. Um, the difference, I would say, is uh, you know the training camps are a lot more uh, uh, formatted. I mean, everybody gets separated every day. There's only five or six riders that ride together, and each, each rider's got their own intervals. In Discovery, we would separate a little bit, and uh, we would do more generalized uh, training. So it's it's interesting. Hopefully, that sort of uh, training will work for me and I'll, I'm sure I'll find out in the next couple of days here at the Tour of California. Obviously you're, uh, you have good relationships with a lot of the guys that are now part of the Astana team. What were your thoughts about uh, the ASO decision to uh, not invite Astana to the Tour de France? Yeah I mean it was, it was a surprise definitely. Uh, you know, I feel bad for Alberto and Levi and those guys that were uh, planning their whole year on, on the Tour de France. It's got to be a tough tough blow for them and you know I don't know what went on and in uh, the decision-making process, so it's tough for me to comment on that, but um, definitely uh, feel bad for those guys. Yeah. Perfect, George. Thanks. Thanks, Neil.